he's memorized commercials and he knows when there's dogs in the commercials and he'll fly out of the other room to come bark at them. <laughs> oh my it's god. It's insane. <laughs> Just when animals get on the TV? Yeah, the people aren't usually a problem. Animals, like any cats, any horses, any you like done it like on your laptop or something. Yeah, I well. try it with my phone too, or like yeah. my laptop, and you won't do it in there. It's just, just on the, the television. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's so funny. Yeah, we have like a window in my office, and he'll watch dogs go by and go nuts. Oh, okay, right. He goes to work with mm -hmm. you. And okay. then if he's on a leash, he's kind of aggressive when he approaches dogs, but then he'll chill as soon as he smells them. Okay. We're going to go over just like the five golden rules mm -hmm. of training with okay. you because it's going to apply to everything we do. So we'll try to cruise through them. First golden mm -hmm. rule is to always associate your dog's name with positivity. It's a lot easier for us naturally if he's getting in trouble. Yeah. Oscar, yeah. like, you know, with a negative tone, it just mm -hmm. kind of like the first, your first instinct. But it will go so much further if you switch the tone from Oscar to Oscar yeah. and he'll just respond so much faster to that. Okay. A dog's name should always be a command to focus mm -hmm. on you. And we always say if there's one thing you should teach your dog to do is to focus okay. on you. So if you can grab your dog's focus, you can prevent him from doing anything you don't want him to. Second golden Oscar. rule is redirection yes. is key to shaping behavior. Mm -hmm. So King and actually talked about this already. Like when he is barking, you want to redirect him to what's the right thing to do. And the reason why is because every time a dog has a behavior, there is a reason behind it. We just oftentimes don't think about what the behavior is. We're very quick to just say, you know, no, I don't like that, don't do it. Like if yeah. he's like biting on the couch, or if he's barking, you're just like, no. You don't really think about why he's doing it. Usually there is a reason. So if we think about why a dog is doing what he's doing, what we don't want him to do, and what I would rather have him mm -hmm. do instead, then that's how you want to handle the situation. Because okay. we are positive reinforcement, however, that doesn't mean that you can't tell your dog no. You have to be able to tell mm -hmm. your dog no, but then immediately redirect him to what it is that you want him to do. So okay. if he's barking at the window, you know you can say no, but then redirect him to what to do, so go to his bed, okay. and then he gets rewarded for going to his bed. So the next golden rule is never underestimate the power of praising your dog when okay. they're doing the right thing. Praising them when they are doing the right thing mm -hmm. just really gives them a solid foundation. And a lot of times there's two things that people yes. always yeah. overlook a lot, and it's yes. when they are doing the right thing, and when you get their focus. Yeah. Because focus is like gold, being mm -hmm. able to get their focus. So if you're they're doing anything, you say Oscar and they look at you, like I would be praising for that just for looking at you because mm -hmm. you want that instant reaction. Um, so praising is is just Finish. really important. Yeah. Tell them when they're doing the right thing. Yeah, they love hearing yes. that yes. they're doing the right thing. Good and it just point. motivates them more to continue to do the right thing. Up. The next yes. golden rule is really important mm -hmm. to get your dog to listen to you Sit. right away mm -hmm. and to break any kind of stubbornness and that is to never repeat a command. If you tell him to sit once, you only want to tell them one yeah. time and for him to Have do you heard it. that? No, I never heard that before. Oh, okay. So, the reason why is because a lot Sit. of times owners have yes. the tendency like to repeat a command yeah. three to five times. With him, because he's like, he won't sit, so he'll be like, sit. Right, yeah. sit, sit, <laughs> yeah. sit. So you're saying it four times, so Oscar thinks, well, next time they're told to sit, I only I can uh, wait until they tell me four times, or let me wait and see how long she'll say it until okay. I until she gives up and I don't have to yeah, do it anymore. Yeah. We'll say the command one time, mm -hmm. and then if he's having a little bit of trouble doing it, what we do is we can make noises, mm -hmm. we can repeat his name as many times as you want, and a lot of it is you just having patience in the beginning. It might take you a yes. couple of minutes, like it might take you. A couple minutes for him to actually get to down but if you're patient with it mm -hmm. he will do it and then on the other side of that is following through with the command like mm -hmm. so every time you give him a command you have to have to follow through with it the last golden rule is you know training should be fun mm -hmm. for both both of you so we Sit. always want to set him up for success you know and if we're practicing with him and he starts to check out, or if there's a command that maybe is getting a little bit too hard for him, you wanna set him up for success and maybe try doing a command that's a little easier for him that he always listens to and ends on 
him listening and you winning. Okay. And that also means you don't, don't have to worry about making one time for one hour practice sessions mm -hmm. with him if that's too much or if you don't have the time. So just do a couple of minutes, even if that's five minutes, or even if you do sit, sit once a week, but you follow all of these yeah. rules, that will go a lot longer okay. than, yes. you know, half doing it yeah. or you getting frustrated. He's feeling that you're frustrated. So it should be a fun experience for both, for both of you. Okay. And even if it's just small practice times, but doing everything the right way will go a lot further. Okay. So the first thing that I noticed with him that this will be really good to do, we always start with this with like puppies, no matter what. And with mm -hmm. puppies, we do it, it's called puppy push-ups, just going from sit to down, okay. sit to down. This is very common in dogs his age. Sit and down almost become the hardest thing because yeah. he's always thinking ahead to like what's next. Would say, yeah. So this will be really good for him to stay present and just mm -hmm. listening to you. So okay. it will help in all other aspects. And I was working with him a little bit right here. Mm -hmm. Naturally, he immediately would go down yeah. so be very strict with what you say if he starts to go down i see people are like oh that's close and yeah like who really cares for some things mm -hmm. like when we tell him to go to his bed and then sit it's not really gonna matter it's just go there and relax yeah. so if that's sitting down whatever okay. but like right here when you're telling him it you just want him to not be thinking ahead mm -hmm. very intelligent dogs develop anxiety a lot of the times because mm -hmm. they're thinking ahead and mm -hmm. they don't stay present and a lot of times it's like if you were just to look to me and that's going to be what we're going to do like with other dogs on the leash when you feel like you need to react and take it out on that dog just look to me instead and he's like oh he's gonna fight it for a little while thinking like i need to be on alert i need yeah. to be like focused over there but once he does shift his focus onto you the dog is way more relaxed too so this will be good practice for him just listening to you and for you to not repeat commands uh -huh. and make sure he's doing the right thing and then uh are you familiar with clipper training i've seen it but i've never done it okay yeah. So we use a clicker word instead of actual clicker because sometimes the clicker is just not as convenient to always have and yeah. we find that the clicker word works really well. It also helps us as training goes on and gets more advanced to prolong focus, to wean mm -hmm. off the treats and things like that. We tend to use yes mm -hmm. as a clicker word. So about if sit. you notice when she's working with yeah. him, he'll do the command and she right away says yes. So that kind of yes kind of does the okay. yes. kind of same thing yeah. as the click okay. sound. Just tells him right away and we'll go okay, more in right. depth yeah. in it and we'll work with that as it goes, goes further yeah on. but just right now yes and treat yes okay. and treat with everything sit yes did you see he almost went yeah, down he, he like stopped it. himself and this is the same thing like i have been doing this with my mm -hmm. oldest dog too because I tell her down yeah. and she's automatically either wanting to play dead or rolling over. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's not down. And think about it like this. A verbal command is the hardest thing for a dog to comprehend. Mm -hmm. So with him, I'm going to start out with the hardest thing. Okay. If it's taking him a little while, then I'll do the okay. hand gesture. And you can see this is also going to be really good for prolonging his mm -hmm. focus. You know, staying focused right here for a long period. Because yeah. he either wants to look over here, he wants to jump up. Yes! Mm -hmm. Good job. Good. Oscar, sit. Yes! Yeah, I'm sure you get people all the time. Good boy. Sit. So since I said sit and then yes, I rewarded him for it. Yeah, I wanted him to stay in it longer. Mm -hmm. But since I did say yes, it's like a new command. So that's okay. why I did say sit again. Okay. Yeah. He's also yeah. probably never done He's a sit from a down position. Yeah. It's challenging. So this will be a really good like challenging exercise for him. Okay, I'm gonna try just luring with treats and see what he does. Sit. <laughs> yes, down. Yes, sit. Yes, oh God, there so we go. Cute. And then we are gonna teach him a go to your bed command. So okay. I saw he naturally likes to hang yeah. out there. Amazing, he he's gonna head. catch on to this really yeah. quick. When you teach it go to your bed, what do you wanna use? Just like go to your bed, go to your place, go to your spot. Um, bed. Go to your bed is good. Go to your bed? Yeah. Okay, the thing with the go to your bed, what you don't wanna do is start out luring him with a treat or okay. he'll only go where the treat is always. Okay. So we wanna make him work a little bit because you wanna be able to tell him go to your bed in any situation, right? Mm -hmm. Like when he's at the door, you don't want to have to go and grab him with a yeah. tree, lure him there. You want to just say, go to your bed, and it completely switches. So when we do this, I'm going to start far away. I'm going to say, Oscar, go to your bed. Give him a few seconds to let it click right mm -hmm. here. Obviously, he has no idea right now. 
That's gonna be more important once he does start to get it. Okay, give it another three seconds. Yes! Yes! Once his paws touch, you wanna tell him yes. Okay. And then I'll use the tree to lure him in. There you go. Yes! Good, Good boy! And then I just lured him into the sit position. Mm -hmm. So go to your bed means go there and just sit. Go to your bed! Yes! All the way in. So see the treats have been on my, in my right hand. Oh, yes! yes! Right here, I have it. Yes! Good boy! The treats are in my right hand the whole time, so mm -hmm. he's just following my hand right here okay. until we get to the bed. The first level of anything we do training wise is always going to be us directing him. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be at that level for a while with the barking. Mm -hmm. It's going to be mm -hmm. like when you want to bark, go here. And then the second level is when the dog does it naturally on, on his own. So we want to start introducing a mix of both, giving him that opportunity to make the right decisions on his own. Okay. He's not going to be there yet with the barking because then he's been doing it for six years. So. And I think I told you how mm -hmm. the barking is going to work is it's going to work off the back end. Okay. He'll snap out of the barking faster and faster and faster. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These things are still going to get his attention right away. Mm -hmm. If he's still barking at things the same amount in the mm -hmm. beginning, that's normal and he'll be able to snap out of it okay. faster and faster. Go to your bed. Yes! yes! Good, Good boy. boy! And with a lot of dogs, when we're just teaching, like we go to your bed command, mm -hmm. that would be okay. Mm -hmm. Just that. I mean, but he's older and we're trying to work through more advanced issues with the barking and really listening to us. So that's why we're being strict right from the start. Okay. In reality, he's doing the go to your bed really fast, like mm -hmm. way faster than the average okay. dog yeah. every single time. So don't think he's not doing okay. it or anything. We're just being super strict about it, yeah. which is a lot to ask out of a dog. Yeah. So for being that strict, he's really doing really what you okay. like. Usually it's just like teaching them when they touch that, mm -hmm. that's what a bed is and rewarding that. So to be so strict about like, you have to be on it fully in a sitting position. Yes! yes! Good boy, you can give him one for that. Sure.